When Death and Life comes out in the 60s, it's a clarion call. It's Martin Luther nailing those 95 theses to the, to the cathedral door. The book is really the first cogent, accessible articulation of a whole set of ideas that questions the mainstream thinking about our cities. She is constantly probing. By that example, she's saying, you, reader, you have the ability to question. Look what we have built. Low-income projects that become worse centers of delinquency, vandalism, and general social hopelessness than the slums they were supposed to replace. Middle-income housing projects, which are truly marvels of dullness and regimentation, sealed against any buoyancy or vitality of city life. Luxury housing projects that mitigate their inanity, or try to, with a vapid vulgarity cultural centers that are unable to support a good bookstore, civic centers that are avoided by everyone but bums who have fewer choices of loitering place than others, expressways that eviscerate great cities. This is not the rebuilding of cities. This is the sacking of cities. <laughs>